Welcome back to the classic here on Dinger City. To my right, who do we got? Spuddle Cokes. And I am Papa Dan, and you're in for a riveting game between Jason and Tyler. Tyler is the home team, it is Mario, and you know what stadium we're at. We're we Bowser's at? Castle. Arsenal. You know, and this, I think, fits both their two teams. Both these two teams are money ball. Yeah. But I think this fits Tyler's team just a little bit better, only because that DK ball that Jason has might be hard to push doubles. Uh, whereas Peach's Garden, which is Jason's home field, I believe, is a little bit better. Yeah. A great hit by great Waluigi, your man. He's automatic. It's he, just, it's filthy. It's I, it's absolutely it. filthy. I'm I'm curious to see if he's gonna go for the slap hit or he's gonna go for the the DK banana ball. I think the slap makes I sense. Think slappies, yeah. He wants to save those stars. It's early. He trusts it. And we're and getting Tyler's a dive been by having King Boo. Issues with King Boo, all classic. All classic. It's like King Boo just oh, keeps well. getting caught in a dive and not a jump. You're definitely going for a yeah, start yeah, here. Oh and my he wins it back. Free? This is the quickest first, second, and third I think I've seen this classic. <laughs> not many pitchers thrown, and uh, he's made contact to everything. Dennis, if you're anyone not named Jason, what do you do here? If I'm anyone not named Jason, oh, I'm I'm just going for a nice little single. He's going for the uh, the O2 grounder. Uh, the only difficult thing about this is his pitcher's Peach, and she has uh, oh. you know magical magical catch. That's or not true. magical catch. She has glue hands. Yeah. So uh, balls might not go up the middle uh, as much as we would like, but right. we shall see if that plays a factor. Base is loaded, one out. We have a star character up. He, you, you know it's coming. You gotta. You just gotta, you know, wait out the bad pitches and make contact on the good ones. And that was a good pitch to hit. A little too inside, though. It's he, so he clean. He's throws the exact same pitch. He had, base line. Yeah, yeah. That wasn't even a strike. He adjusted to it. All he needed was that inside contact that he pushed it, and that's a great hit. We already are all down to one star. If you can get a double player, that'd be great. And we have quick <laughs> throw, kidding. and that's exactly oh what you needed. God. Exactly what you needed. Honestly, two runs or five hits, bases loaded to start the inning. We know that's, yeah. that is not that bad. You have five stars here. You'd love to get on here with Shy Guy. Let's see if we can do yeah. it. You know, the one thing is, though, that Jason is never really going to throw much inside. No. He's not going to give you that Falcon Pop. He wants you to chase. He right. wants you to not make contact. And, you know, with the Falcon Pop character, you need that inside contact. Yeah. Five stars down to four. I think that presents a unique challenge to Mario and KB because it's the end of their bats that usually get, like, just wrecked, honestly. Yeah. I said... <laughs> I think that I feel bad. like that particularly harms Mario and KB, given that the ends of their bats often get abused. Ooh, they get abused. Speaking of getting abused, Baby no, Luigi didn't get abused by a fireball there. I was hoping that he would be starting running around, pissing his pants mm. like a little wee baby. Oh, oh, oh Madge. Showing Madge, what third base looks like. When Ma it's... Madge reminding us, hey, it's the classic. I'm not picked every game because I'm not available. Mm. But this is still my base. Yeah. Speaking of my base, oh. we are not making that. We're going first to third. Star did not even need to be used. Great hit by Tyler. We now have Yiff oh. Daddy. Papa, I want to see it. I'm sniffing it. I'm sniffing a Yiffin. We do have a little thwomps. bit like burnt toast. Maybe I'm on a stroke. <laughs> I sure hope not. Hey, hey, numbness? Uh, yeah, I don't know. You got a good bicep. Numbness, what would I be feeling right now? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. No one was making contact with me, Papa. Ooh. Okay. 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 <laughs> All right. Top of the second. Two nothing. No stars here. Jason won't do the tech. He's too afraid to do the tech. He won't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. Based. He did it. All right. You know, hats off to Jason. Jason, oh, oh. that's the last time. I'll, that's the last time I'll heckle. That's no more heckle. No more, no more heckling. But it'd be really cool if he did the check here. Yeah. <laughs> he don't got to do it. Jason for sure would not do the tech with a star on the line and two strikes. Jason would never. Good good piece. Good piece. Yeah. Good piece. Is that it? Is that it? Hands off for Jason. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, he would definitely not do the tech Yeah, no here. way. Not the Walu tech. <laughs> not bad contact. Yeah. Good pieces. But we're not scoring. Yeah. Bottom of the second, two nothing. Ooh. Stars to use. They're mm. costing two. You're probably just trying to get on here with a nice single. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful push it by Daisy. You know, I gotta say, Daisy has made. I think the. I think the. I think the three characters that we've seen. I think outperform. I say four. I think the four characters that we've seen outperform. Uh, maybe the conception on them. One Monty. 
uh, to Daisy. Firebro has done really right. well on mine and Joey's team, and yep. that could just be the player with them, but they've done really well. And uh, honestly, Raffy has done really well on both teams too. He's I been a, he's he's gotten on with just nice slaps, and we're charging here. We have chemistry. Mm -hmm. This to me sounds like the move as well too. Yeah. Short field makes sense. I get it. Great pitch by Jason. Mm -hmm. Not giving him a pitch to hit Spencer. What do you do here? We have stars to use. They cost two. I do a hit and run. Uh, I was gonna say in in hindsight, which is always twenty twenty. I wonder if the move is to sack bun with Peach, blow two stars, but you gotta run. Yeah, no, is, I, is I, I, get, I I yeah. get that. I get that. I get that. Going for the charge hit is base though. You know, it's content. <laughs> you yeah, you do want content. Yes, exactly. I don't want content. I'm yeah, just, no. I'm just trying to play we're to win. Just trying to win. To be honest, play to win. We, play we to scrape win. by what we can. And but, we're uh, not able to get good. it again. Are we getting a? St we're getting. A oh start. my god, that's disgusting. You know, I gotta, I gotta say something. I don't think Jason showered today because that was gross. <laughs> yeah. I think it's carrying over into this game, and we're star hitting, oh. and this is just a. Uh, oh, we have, we have the yiffy, we have the yeah. outer third. I do think Tyler uh, showered today because he looks washed. Wow, it was really good. I was, I was really good. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I would have laughed if this game just ends on a quit. <laughs> oh, we're charging. <laughs> No bobble though, right? Yeah, no bobble. Uh, uh, we have the out at home, I think. Oh, just no. beat the throw. <laughs> Honestly, n no way around that. That's hard. There's no cam when you're throwing to the cutoff hitter, cutoff base runner, cut cutoff field. What am I saying? Cutoff fielder. Cutoff person. Yeah. Cutoff person. Yeah. First and second. Oh my gosh, mm. Jason. That's you're so gross, well. Jason. Filthy. First and third here. He's going pissed. for the tech oh. again, and oh. it's not going to land, but we're going to be able to get a nice sacrifice again. Huh. Blue Madge doesn't get that, so that's you know, the Blue, thing you yellow. I, I, I agree. Blue Madge does not get that. Baby Luigi up. Beautiful single. Oh <laughs> beautiful it's... single. Beautiful dream, a beautiful oh. dream. Stay close to me. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. I'm buying you a used karaoke machine. <laughs> Drake and Josh, baby. <laughs> oh, my, my the coach of football team, corn on the cops. <laughs> so good. Such a good episode. My girlfriends started watching that show, and I'm so happy because, like, finally all the references I can make yeah. make sense. Like, it's she watched the orangutan episode. Okay. High, yeah. which is I'm like, yeah. it already feels like you're yeah. high watching it, so yeah. I can't imagine what that's like. I I think my favorite, uh, I think my favorite episode is when Josh is just saying. Baby on the roof! <laughs> Wait, yeah. can you repeat that? What was it? Baby on the roof. <laughs> baby, oh yeah. Yeah, when they lose the baby. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was away from the mic when I did it. <laughs> the laugh might have been close. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. sorry that one hurt. Yeah. Oh or uh, when they, they have the episode where, uh, you know, oh, perfect but foul. When they have the uh, the the video game or or, or sweets where Jake oh, where, where Drake is not allowed, yeah, where Drake isn't allowed to have video games. Yup. And then uh, you know Josh obviously no Josh is allowed to have video games and Drake isn't allowed to have sweets. Yup. Which I thought was honestly I thought that was a really nice touch at the time mm -hmm. because you know obviously it's no secret Josh was struggling with his weight yeah. back then, so to make Josh the one that isn't struggling with like his sweets, mm -hmm. I thought was a really cool touch they did because at the end of the day, as a kid that grew up with a you know really awful metabolism, I mean granted I have chicken sandwiches in my pockets a lot, <laughs> but I don't think I ever should have been that overweight with what I used to eat. Uh, but it was a nice touch that I think Nickelodeon did with the uh, you know Josh isn't the one that likes the video games and Drake is the one that eats a lot of junk yeah. food because you know typically. That's just right. And they could have gone with what they, they could have gone like, stereotypically, which right. they didn't. And I thought Game Sphere, Game Sphere. What and is it? Game Sphere. It's Game Sphere. Spherical. Spherical. <laughs> and then, or, or you know, you, you have Dr uh, Drake, uh, Josh with the uh, the chocolate hat, <laughs> Ch chocolate milk, <laughs> chocolate cup. Everybody loves gummy bears. Yes. Oh, such a such a good oh, show. That licorice. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like loving that licorice. I I can't look at a pack of gummy bears without having that rent free in my head. Absolutely. It's, you know, it's, like, it's it's. I'm pretty sure the game sphere was supposed to be the GameCube, but they yeah. just couldn't call it Game. <laughs> right. Called it Game Sphere. Yeah. Yep. I was watching another episode. I think they called it like the the Nintendo yeah. like yeah. TS. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. It was like really janky. Yeah. Like how close they got with it. Yeah, at least Game Sphere is something that looked like something I'd really want to play. I <laughs> like wanted a Game Sphere so, so cool, badly. Right? 
And this is, oh my, J Jason, I think, has beat out three close save calls at third and at home. Really unfortunate for Tyler, but he's he's putting on a clinic with these slap hitters. He's yeah. pushing everything. He's going to get a quick throw, double play. Yeah. I think I jinxed him. He pushed every ball but that one. <laughs> if we start jinxing him, it could be tied 5-5 by next inning. Yeah. Tyler said meatball. <laughs> <laughs> Spaghetti underneath, Tyler. Uh, so, oh. Oh, Ooh. not able to get on with Daisy. <laughs> the BM oh, is unreal. Oh, my God. All right, and Jason's for sure going to get Tyler's toad out. Wait, what? What? What was that? Story? I don't know. I don't know what we're doing. Oh, we're trying to. Yep. Yeah. We're having we're fun, having baby. Fun here. We're having fun here. We love fun at Dinger City. Actually, I don't. I don't love fun. <laughs> I love content. Oh. And if you want to get more content, become a Dinger City member. They're not on screen right now. Oh. <laughs> they will be at the end of the game. And that's what you're going to get. You're going to get plays just like this. Are we out? Oh, my gosh. We're safe. Oh. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. He's juggling. He's juggling. juggling. Oh, no. Oh, okay. No. This is the one. Got to do this it. He's one. got the kick. Oh. Low trash. Perfect. Wow. But it's Band beautiful, slices. baby. It's beautiful, baby. Fan slices like it's a pizza shop in Chicago. Ooh. Favorite pizza slice, and uh, uh, Spencer. Oh, Favorite pizza slice. You know what I'm a sucker That's for? That's Landon. Yeah. Like a nice Crispino. What's a Crispino? It's like the cold one with that fresh mozzarella, the roasted red peppers, oh, the tomato, and just that okay. little, like, a little, little bit of drizzle. Oh, a little, little drizzle. Yeah. Okay. What about you, Papa? I, mm, I'll tell you what my favorite pizza slice is. Chat, tell me what your favorite pizza slice mm. is because this is important. This matters. Mm. These are these are things that I go to bed at night saying. I wonder what my chat, my chat, Much. my chat, is eating on their pizza. And I'm gonna tell you a combination that I think is a little not common. Send shavers down my spine. Everyone Papa. loves Hawaiian pizza. Everyone loves it. If you don't love it, live it under a rock. Mm. But bacon, well okay. done bacon. Okay. Pineapple. I dig it. Chicken cutlet. Mm. Chicken, bacon, pineapple. It's like a chicken making ranch, but with pineapple on it. Which I prefer. And, you know, I worked at a pizzeria for five years. Oh, win that star, baby! Bruh. Worked at a pizzeria for five years. Uh, every time I call, they still know I'm going to be complicated with my order. <laughs> because, you know, I'm a man who has exquisite taste. Mm. I'm complicated. I'm difficult. Yeah. But listen, I grew up. I grew up as the kid that was like, let me just see what weird shit I can put on stuff mm. to make taste good because I needed originality, you know? And I, I will say, try it, just try it. Try it, salty, sweet, goodness. Obviously, if you eat meat, try it. If you don't eat meat, obviously don't try it. But Papa, yeah. why do you have to go and make your pizza so complicated? Because I'm someone who has always just been like, if I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do it to its full. So I was okay. overweight and I was like, I'm just gonna be like the best overweight person. Like I'm gonna just like, I'm just gonna put sandwiches in my pocket. <laughs> I'm just living up to like, you know, that stand. Oh, get out of my house, what evil Oh, it just missed. Um, you ever roll up a pizza and like put it in your pocket? Get out! Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh. No, no. Oh, it's not meant to be. It's okay. <laughs> My guy! Oh! Hype is optimal. I want it! Oh, okay. oh they're gentlemen only, only meatballs. meatballs. All right, well, you know what you're getting, chat? Yeah. You're getting a podcast we're, right now. Ooh, okay. We're doing a little. We're, 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 we're going to commentate this game. Meatball. Oh, oh. Bobo! Baba full send. <laughs> full send. You went full send. Oh, I didn't realize that. <laughs> you know, we're, we're playing silly today. <laughs> it's the last round. It's the second to last game. You'll get your serious, close, competitive game with Nick and Andrew tomorrow. Yeah. You'll have your barn burner. You're going to get that. For now, your barn burner. <laughs> we are playing for just the absolute bollocks yeah, uh, uh, right now. No, I, I, you know, we scheduled these games early, and we were specifically told tomorrow's game. Or Monday's game, whatever day this comes out. The me. next game, the last game, is your Nick and Andrew. Staple. Get, Staple. Get hyped. Gonna be your best game of the season. Watch. Because it will be. What? Wow. Super, super. Oh, oh, oh no. My gosh. No. Isn't he impervious no. to fire? Why isn't he impervious to fire? 
Oh my gosh. You know, Pop, I'm not letting go of the pizza thing. I think that's a delicious combination. It's really I, good. Um, you I'm know what's that in my mind. You know what's very having I guess I guess working at worked at a pizzeria for five years, done everything in the ins and outs. Mm -hmm. Um not many people ever order a pepperoni slice, but they order a pepperoni oh, pie. Right, right. A lot of the times when we make pepperoni slices, it's a regular slice that we add pepperoni on at the end, mm -hmm. um, which I think is the way to go because if you make a pepperoni pie and you have it sitting like in like a, the cassette, it gets super, super oily. Right, right. And like that gets in the sauce, it gets in the cheese, and it kind of changes the entire pizza. Right. It's like if you add like bacon to in eggs, it gets super, super oily. Yeah. So like it's... You know, I and, and no one ever really walks in ordering a slice of pepperoni. Usually no. meatball. Right. No, not many people order meatball pies, but but uh, but like um, meatball slices, a lot, a lot of people get, a lot of people get more meatball slices than meat than meatball pies. Yeah, I feel like pepperoni occupies an interesting niche in which it's no one's favorite topping, but it's very rarely someone's least favorite topping. Yeah. So they're like, oh yeah, we're having a bunch of people over. They'll eat the pepperoni. Yeah, they'll they'll they'll, they'll, they'll do so it. me pepperoni. Oh. Yeah, um, my restaurant had a notorious, really good slice. Oh my gosh, That's we're we're perfecting healthy. in the outfield. Uh -oh, um, we're not gonna get territory. out. My my the pizza place I worked at Rocco's in Mount Sinai. Shout out to Rocco's Pizzeria in Mount Sinai on Twenty Five A. Not Rocco's Miller Place. Not that place. No. Rocco's Mount Sinai. They took our name. Um, we have a Grandma Vodka slice. Super good. I had that at my party. I had that at my party. I'm pretty sure you were there. I, I was there, but I only had the regular. Yeah. The I Grandma got there late, Vodka. so it might have been. Grandma Vodka gone. slice is beautiful. Um, yeah, they have a lot of, lot of good. Chicken Rocco, which is a chicken cutlet with. with... Oh, get out! Come on. Come get on, out! Please. Please. What? Bounce, 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 bounce. You gotta go bounce, home with it. Bounce, bounce, gotta go home with it. Gotta go home with it. Oh, yeah! Not mercy. Finger. We're still in this game. Daisy chain into second, to third, to fourth. Ooh. And you know what type of game we're getting? We're getting a, we're getting a, we're, yeah, we're Gentlemen's getting a, we're people. getting a dinner yeah. for. Oh no, Spencer, come on, Spencer, I want this, please. No, fireball, fireball, fireball. Ah, I, I have never wanted anything more in my life, more than a fill the future extra season on Disney Channel. They didn't give it to me. They didn't give it to me. Disney you know, Plus, I, they should do it. I asked for a brother a couple years ago. I asked for a Brothers Garcia uh, sequel. I don't even know what that. Is. What's that? Brothers Garcia. Oh, such a good show. They actually have a new uh, season on HBO with the kids now. Mm. It's twenty years old. Well, not the not the sequel, the old show. Brothers Garcia was one of the first, I believe, Spanish um, Spanish family centered Nickelodeon shows. Oh, that's hype. Yeah, and they lived in like uh, I think they lived in New Mexico. No, they lived in Texas. They lived in Texas. Really great show. Really great show. Luigi, baby Luigi. Oh, what a crappy arm! Yeah, that was that was We're sad. Back. We're back, Some baby. Some funky base running too there. Yeah, <laughs> that was. I mean, they all got hope. Oh, oh, this is. Listen, this is this is this is Dinger City, and yeah. this is what you're getting. You're getting Dingers, and you're getting low trash. Oh, oh that baby, a double, at least. did you shit oh. your diaper? We. He's got that fiery diary. He's got. He's go. Oh, he's he got. He ate out the Basco yeah. sauce before the game. Yeah, he, he's gonna need some. Uh, We're star hitting. Some powder. Good start hit. Spencer, what's your go-to? You go to a restaurant for the first time. Okay. Italian restaurant. What's your go-to dish? Ooh. Um, I mean, honestly, I feel like I go with the penny vodka or the rigatoni vodka, depending okay. on what they have. Okay. Because I feel like that, you know, the sauce should be easy to do right, but it really stands alone if it's, like, really, really good. Mm -hmm. um, Marsala's hit or miss. So I agree. I go vodka sauce. Yeah. I if If I'm trying a new place... Depends who I'm going with. If I'm going with like a bunch of people and I'm gonna get judged for like not liking my dish, mm. I'm gonna get like probably just chicken parm or okay. something like yeah. that. But if I'm going with someone who I know is not gonna care, if I'm like, I only ate half my dish, it is what it is. I was trying something new. Oh, yeah. I always go with chicken francaise. Oh, uh, I do. That like is like that. Is, yeah, with 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 uh with rigatoni pasta. Yeah. That is like my my go to try for a new place. Mm. Oh, God, because I I I, in there. I believe if you can make a really good chicken francaise, uh, you know. Dish, mm -hmm. you can make a lot of other good things because it's hard. It's easy to fuck up chicken. Right. You know, it's hard. Sorry, it's, it's hard to fuck up chicken parm. It's just yeah. you know, it's red sauce and cheese. Right. It's it's hard to mess that up. Making a good chicken franchise though means that you're probably making your own stuff. You're making your own sauce. Yep. So, that's true. Yeah. So I always when I try new places, I do that. I like that. Yeah. I like that. And and, and again, as someone who tries a lot of Italian places, I gotta say, Olive Garden gets a bad rap. 
gets a really bad Thank rap. Thank you. It gets a really I bad rap. I would, I would love, and I would love to be a part of this. I'd love to, you know, when you see like these, uh, you know, other YouTube channels where they, they have like a professional chef make food. Yeah. I'd love to have like people go into like a room where they don't know like what the food is, and like you have a chef like mm. preparing dishes, like plating them perfectly, and it's just all Olive Garden food. Because <laughs> yeah. everyone, when they know it's Olive Garden, like, not real Italian. It's right. like, it's like, yo, their chicken cutlet is super, super right. crispy. Even if it's Americanized, it's super crispy chicken right. cutlet. Always cooked great. Their Alfredo sauce is bomb. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's salty, it's fatty. That's exactly what Alfredo sauce is. It's comfort be. food. It's comfort food. It's super good. And they're like, yeah, their bread's fine, but like, give me Alfredo sauce yep. and a dipping sauce. I'm I'm chilling. I will say I think their lasagna is really bad. I don't like they're, their lasagna. lasagna it's it. super, super salty. Yeah. Like they had the tour to Italy. I'm not taking the tour. And I and I'm not taking that tour. Yeah. Like I've never been to Italy. I'm not going there yet. I'm not taking <laughs> your, that your, tour. Your, your passport's not ready, yeah. you wanna. Yeah, but uh yeah, I mean honestly they're they have they have like tortellini asiago. Mm. Uh and, and it's super, super delicious. And Minestrone's and, good. Yeah, it is. It is. And, and their wine is good too. Yeah. Wine is good too. Speaking of good, we oh. have a good charge swinger when you're throwing meatball. Woo. That's Toad. That's totally, Kyle. Totally. <laughs> uh, one time, there was a spider, and I said, whoa, Kyle. And I said, whoa, <laughs> Papa. <laughs> <laughs> That's totally Kyle. <laughs> Is this thing invisible? On yeah, the they, they, it's a spider. It's a spider. Yeah, it's a spider from uh, the, you know the uh, the Christmas Christmas yeah. Secret Santa. It's a pop along. Get night. out of my house! Oh, Luigi! Oh, oh, off the finger links! Woo! We're, we're, we're keeping them entertained, boys. Yeah. We're keeping them. That's why he's the bro. Well, I'll check the retention rate. I do all the analytics, by the way. Oh. I'll well, I'm, I'll check the retention rate. Mm. Rate. I don't know if you guys stopped watching. Yeah. You didn't stop watching. You know why? Because you got the dispense over Ooh. here. Oh, yeah. Pew, 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 and you got the the den over here. <laughs> yeah. The making the, a comeback over the fire. Oh, let's go. The dis den, sir. Yeah. Gotta ask you a question, Spencer. All right, I'm ready for it. What was the first first video game you remember beating as a kid? Beating. Beating. Ooh. Um. Madagascar. Yeah. When that come out? Get out! Oh five ish. Ooh. Um. So we had. Oh, nice home run. Great home run. Wow. We had no memory cards on our PlayStation. Mm -hmm. Four kids in the family. So if it was like a rainy day in the summer, we would just wake up like 7 a.m. Start it up, and we had to beat the game before the day ended. Of course, because if we turn that PlayStation off, we lose all progress, right? That's how it is. So Simpsons hit and run. We never got to finish it. Um, over the hedge, we never got to finish it. Madagascar, we were committed. And like those first levels we played so much because it was always like the start we had to do. Mm -hmm. But when we beat it, it felt really good. Yeah, I... Uh, what about you? I think the first game I really remember beating uh, was Banjo-Kazooie as a kid. Mm. Uh, I, I could I was not I was like what five when when Mario 64 came out and I was a child when Ocarina of Time also came mm. out I'm not beating that game at six right like what um and it wasn't like you could just internet stuff because they're all oh, off the top of the thwomps great hit we yeah, have a triple at least coat. yeah uh Banjo Kazooie was the first game I remember beating I didn't beat those games until I believe like the GameCube came out because again like you're a seven year old kid how you beat an Ocarina of Time to seven year old right. kid you're not. They're not. It, it's it's too much. Too hard. Too much. But uh, I was a notorious um, MVP baseball player. Yeah. Backyard baseball player. Like I literally would play those games religiously mm -hmm. as a kid, especially because like everyone had a computer in their house and everyone was able to run backyard baseball. Yep. yep. And you know it's it's one of those great hit. Oh wow. Great hit by Donkey Jason Kong. retakes the lead. And you know I'm in a I'm in a backyard baseball Discord that has cracked the game open. Just nice. like how our Discord has cracked nice. uh, Mario Base with the hardworking people that have you know made this game is what it, off the star. Oh my goodness, we got some BB nutters. Yeah, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you something. I don't know. Did you play backyard baseball as a kid? Uh, I had the Wii game of it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't know how the Wii game was, but I know the computer games. There would be like the 35, I believe, backyard kids that you would that you would be able to pick from. Um, and obviously most of the kids were almost always the same. Like. Like, Vicky Kawaguchi was great in football. She was great, and, you know, she was pretty good in baseball. She just mm. couldn't hit. Gotcha. But all these characters, you know, they all had, like, you know, their their stats would kind of 
go towards the game. Like, if a character was fast, they were fast in all the games, which I thought was really, really cool. I like that, Because, you, yeah. you know, no matter what game you played, right. you kind of knew what you were getting. Right. And, and another, like... and an, Yeah, and another game where size didn't matter, mm -hmm. you know, gen, you know, everything, gender was, like, everyone was good. Everyone yeah. was, was awesome. Skills or no skills. Skills or no skills, yeah. And, like, you know, Keisha Phillips was... Uh, overweight, you know, overweight female in the game, and she was so good. She was super fast, super good. My favorite character That's in the high. game. And but this Discord has cracked open the game to where you can pick the players you weren't allowed to play with, like Chico's Papas, Jay Green, Julie Dunkel, uh, all these other kids that are only computer generated characters. Mm. They're in the game, and you know what? They're all better than the backyard kids. Like Pablo Sanchez isn't even a top ten character. That's yeah. That sounds like heresy yeah. if you didn't crack open yeah. the game. Yeah, no, because like there's just characters that are just better. Like Jay Green is considered like the oh best God. hitter in the game. He has 10 speed. It's crazy. That's why. Because that was like uh, the one sacred kernel of truth is like Pablo is the goat. Like you know, even I knew that. I, I and you know, I'll, I'll, you'll see like Sports Center or like Barstool Sports. Shout out to them. They'll post like who's your best baseball character right. in a game. And everyone goes Pablo Sanchez, Pablo Sanchez, Pablo Sanchez. And he's not the best character nope. in. He's the best character that you could pick, but he's not the best character in the game. Right, right. And that's the thing about this game is that you know, another. We're seeing dinger after dinger. Just a shy guy looking for yeah. a two ply hefty bag to hold my home run. Hey, there we go. We're get his. I think t I think Tyler's he's cracked it. He's just going over center field. He's just hitting it over center field. Is this considered slicing home runs, or is this just good timing? Yeah, he's just sitting over center field. But uh, but I believe the the best two characters in backyard baseball are Julie Dunkel and Henry something with an M. Ooh. Weird French last name. Um, because, Henry Marquis de Lafayette. Yeah, and it's because they have their they have like they because like they have in the game it only shows your hitting, it shows mm. ten batting, but it doesn't it doesn't lie to you, but it doesn't show you contact. And it doesn't show you, I believe, height. Mm. Um, so, like, you know, characters like Pablo have 10, 10 batting, but they don't have 100 contact. I think mm. Pablo has, like, 67 contact and, like, 100 power. But these other characters have, like, more contact, more power, more mm. speed. And in backyard baseball, the small characters bobble more, just like they do in Mario Baseball. That's cool. I like And that. big characters have better the fielding stats lie there's no such thing as throwing stat like it's such a great game and maybe when this comes out i've already done my backyard baseball stream but if it hasn't come out um i am doing a backyard baseball stream because you guys don't in the, the last 24 hour live charity stream great hit by toad that's gonna be a dinger um oh my goodness. but uh i'm drafting i'm drafting a team i'm gonna have chat pick my team that's, that's um awesome. and if it does well i'll keep playing and you know we'll we'll start from the ground up. Yes. Um, you know a lot of other content creators started with backyard baseball and they kind of moved and shifted. Wow, off the wall. Um, a, a channel like Chiz, shout out to Chiz, played backyard baseball. I was an OG fan, like first like eight thousand subscribers. Right, right. And uh, you know doesn't play it anymore sadly. Love would love to watch him play that game. Wow. Nice snag. But I will be playing backyard baseball. Um, and if you guys want to see more Backyard Baseball stuff, let us know. But the thing is, this game came out only like a year and a half after Backyard Baseball 2003. And during the same time, the game were on the GameCube and the Wii's. So, I mean, like, a lot of people who played this game played other games. Because right. this is a cartoon baseball game. Right. As is Backyard Baseball. And right. A lot of people you want it all? Too. Yeah. I think, that's, I think that's the biggest difference between, like, me and Alessa the Club is that I was a kid in 2003 while everyone else was, like, a little tiny right, baby right. as a kid. So they didn't really grow up with this. And the only reason they grew up with this game is because, you know, it's a Nintendo game. So exactly. it's, on yeah, the, it it's, a, it's on a huge console. How many kids are playing PC games at six? I, I was you know I, mean? I, I had shoots and ladders on my grandma's PC. That was it. Ooh. Yeah, no, that, that was me, too. I, I, yeah, yeah, oh, home run. Tyler is, is, oh, is almost mad at a mercy. Gracious. My grandmother, rest in peace, died a year and a half ago. Uh, she had a computer. I would play backyard football. Oh, that's fun. And, uh, and who wants to be a millionaire? <laughs> my grandma and I ever, used to. Did you ever make it all the way to the end of I did. My gra go. Yeah, my grandmother would know every answer. That's and that's also because I think like they would ask the same questions. So right, she, kinda, <laughs> she just played so much. Yeah, so she remembered. Oh! oh no. Not in mercy, baby. Oh, hey, Jason. Oh. Hey, Jason. Jason, make the largest comeback in Mario Superstar Baseball history. I can't and then just don't throw him anything. I can't believe that in a classic where there could be, like, games that were determined by one run and people had to make clutch comebacks in the ninth and all this stuff, 
We're having a game that two thirds of which is just gentlemen's meatballs. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's the out. This is content. This is content. But we can do it again here. We gotta yeah. push this ball to the right field. We're getting. Should oh my tech? God! Double play! Tech? Oh, and that's the game. Tyler not only doubled his record in the classic from last year, he doubled it plus one, almost tripled it, baby. Tyler five wins, and that's the game. Thank you guys so much for watching the Classic. There's going to be another game. One more game left. Biggest game of the year. Best game of the year. So stay tuned for that for one. Get awesome. hyped for it. It's a Classic. I played perfectly. Game. What the heck? What the heck? The members are on hype. screen right as we're speaking. Sorry, man. When there's no stakes, I can't be stopped. <laughs> he can't be stopped. And if you don't want to be stopped, leave a comment down below. Let us know if you played backyard baseball or you didn't play backyard baseball. A lot of you did. Like, comment, subscribe. My name's Papa Den. I have been General Gunk Spud. And uh, Dinger, Dinger City, City out. out.